face challenge, okay? Yeah, shaky, shaky. We've had a wee practice and I've won sometimes and he's won the other time. So it's 50-50. We've got a few pillows because we don't want to wreck our delicate features. Covered with a towel. Now, pizza base, we've just used some tortilla wraps, just to put down. And first of all, we're going to wet them. And each time, we're just going to add something different. No particular way for this. <laughs> uh, it was coming. Okay, so I'm going to need to wet it like that because the first one's going to be some flour. Do you want to play? Lovely, yeah. Make sure put it's plenty all over side. there, yeah. Put plenty over there. That'll do lovely. Lovely. Okay, so the rhyme's going to be pizza face, pizza face, one, two, three, and then we're going to do the action. So. Okay, by the way, the reason we're doing this is because of peer pressure. Yes. Uh, where Brian and Pamela have been pushing us and Sharon and Stephen Madole have been saying that they want to see us doing it. So this is all down to us being bullied by others. It's not all right. Bad. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. Yes, I'm <laughs> Okay, right. ready? Are we all right here now? Yes. Pizza face, pizza face, one, two, three. Pizza face, pizza face, one, two, three. Great news is, 
We uh, are now nominating. We're nominating, and if these others do it, we're going to donate money okay. to uh, the NHS. NHS. Uh, and we'll put the details of where you nominated uh, on uh, below this. So who are we nominating, Hazel? We're nominating Brian and... Pamela. Smith, yes. because he started it. And also... Sharon. And, <laughs> and Stephen. Stephen. Madol. Stephen, sorry. Madol. <laughs> Stephen and Sharon Madol. Yes, and... And... Steph and... Steve McGall. Woohoo! Okay, so get to it. This yeah. is the Pizza Face Challenge. Bye! What an absolute mess. you would be glad to know that I'm charred, washed, cleaned, and everything's good. But it was a good laugh, wasn't it? And really, at a time like this, we, we need to have a bit of a laugh. And anybody who knows me will realise that I certainly like to have a laugh. So my question is this, does God ever laugh? It may surprise you to know that a number of times in scripture we read about God laughing. Let me read it to you from Psalm 2. Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord holds them in derision. God laughs. And if you want to hear God laugh, you, you simply come to him and say, this is what I'm doing. This is my plan for my life. You know, our plans, really, we uh, think that they should all come to pass exactly as we plan them. But one of the things that we've discovered during this COVID-19 crisis is that our plans really count for nothing. Think of how many plans that you've had for even these past weeks that you've had to put on hold. Think perhaps even of plans that you, you've made for the summer and at the minute you're not sure if you're going to get away. In fact, it looks increasingly unlikely that we'll get away anywhere in the summer. And so quickly and so easily, our plans can come to nothing. And you know, in the world, we have many powerful nations. We have leaders over these nations who think that they hold power in their hands. And the Bible says that God laughs. God laughs at their supposed power. God laughs at our supposed plans. Now, I'm not saying that God is distant and removed from what's going on in our lives. I'm not saying that he doesn't care about us or what we're going through. And nor am I saying that God is the one who has caused this COVID-19 virus. In fact, it may well come out that it has come as a result of what man has done, that this virus has hit our world. But what I am saying is this. That none of this takes God by surprise. God isn't rocked in heaven. God isn't shaken by the occurrences in the world. No, the psalmist in Psalm 2 says that God sits on his throne. You see, none of the things that man has planned, none of the things that the leaders do in their supposed power is able to knock God off his throne. Not even all that Satan can throw at him will change anything that God has planned. God knows all things and sees all things. He is the one constant. Whilst everything else in our world is changing, God remains the same yesterday, today and forever. And if you want to have something solid to depend upon in the midst of this crisis or any other crisis that come, may come our way, if you want to be prepared for the end, whether that is the end of your life or the end of this world, or just the end of things as we know them. Well, then the best way is to be trusting in our God. If you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. God knows all things. And this virus is speaking to us of the need for us to be trusting fully in him. To be seeking his will in all things. It's good to have a bit of a laugh, isn't it? And I hope to have a laugh at the expense of a few others 
in the days to come. Just to say that um, since we did this challenge, I've set up a, a website, a, a charity website called www.justgiving.com backslash fundraising backslash pizza face. And if you want to donate to NHS charities, you can simply go into that and the money that you uh, donate there will go directly to the NHS. Today we've nominated some people and we're looking forward to see what will happen in the Pizza Face Challenge. <laughs>